Small Time Crooks is the 30th film written and directed by Woody Allen. Released in 2000, it saw Allen star in a pure comedy for the first time in years. It was a big success for Allen, but how well do you know it? Here's 10 things about Small Time Crooks. That's a share, but not a full share. I'd go for that, yeah. Yeah, what if we each get a fourth and she gets like a third? Why do you? Alan continues his busy 1990s into the 2000s by appearing in two other films. He starred in Picking Up the Pieces, a really terrible horror comedy directed by Alfonso Arau. Sadly, no better is Company Man. Alan also had a small cameo in that film written and directed by his Bullets Over Broadway collaborator, Douglas McGrath. Again, not a great film. Uh, Chateau Lafitte, and I believe 1946, because uh, <clears throat> 45 was, uh, you know, a war year. There was shrapnel in the harvest. And... That wasn't all. Alan also appeared in a series of commercials for Telecom Italia. That 30-second ad packed in more jokes than either of the two films mentioned earlier. It was directed by Tony Scott, and there's another one featuring Marlon Brando. I don't want to live to 150. I don't have the money to cover it. Plus, you know, the lease on my apartment is going to run out in what? In 40 years. So, you know what a trauma it is for me, you know, to move? I'll be 110 years old. I'll be, I'll be apartment hunting. Small Time Crooks was the first under a new deal with DreamWorks distributing Sweetland Films, Alan's boutique label. DreamWorks had wanted to work with Alan for a long time and had produced him in Ants. This film is one of Alan's most successful films at the time. DreamWorks was eager to show off their new signing and it was a big return to comedy and Alan was willing to do some promotion. His last film to do as well was 14 years earlier with Hannah and her sisters. A lot of people have noted the film shares a plot similarity with 1942's Larceny Incorporated, starring Edward G. Robinson. That film is about an underground heist into a bank that makes up the first half of Alan's film. The second half, however, is vastly different. The film stars Tracy Ullman working with Alan again after Bullets Over Broadway. She had film scenes for Everyone Says I Love You, but her part was ultimately cut. Ullman wasn't the first choice for the role of Frenchie. Barbara Streisand was offered the role. I saw a beautiful painting of fruit mm -hmm. um, at the uh, Met or the Whitney. Um, it might have been the, the, the Holocaust. I... Also in the cast is the wonderful Elaine May. Alan and May had been friends for many decades and would go on to work together on Relatively Speaking and also the Amazon series Crisis in Six Scenes. I met a wonderful man downstairs. He seemed to like me. He said I reminded him of his wife who's dead, but I assume he meant when she was alive. <laughs> Rounding out the cast is Hugh Grant, who was a big star at the time. This was actually the second time he auditioned for Alan. He had been in lead running for Kenneth Branagh's role in Celebrity, but ultimately lost out. And finally, The Cookie Shop. It is, of course, a fake, but it is one of the best public Alan locations that is lesser known. The bank next door is the Hamilton Grange Library on West 145th Street near Amsterdam Avenue. Go visit it. And that's 10 things about Small Time Crooks. Find out more about this film and lots of other Woody Allen films in our books, The Woody Allen Watcher's Guide, available now on Amazon and iTunes. And go to WoodyAllenPages.com to find the latest Woody Allen news. 
Subscribe to this YouTube channel and find us at Woody Allen Pages on all your social media. The brain? The brain. That's what the guys used to call me, right? Yeah. I got it. But Ray, that was sarcastic. No, that wasn't sarcastic. That was real. No, no, it was sarcastic. That wasn't. It was nothing sarcastic no, no, really, about it. No, really, it was. Benny, it was, it was real. That was the no, brain. No, what? The, I it was, was the, sarcastic. It wasn't sarcastic. Oh, my was God. The, oh, my God. Yeah.